Julia Frances Langford was an American singer and entertainer who was popular during the golden age of radio and also made film appearances over two decades. Birth, born Julia Frances Langford in Hernando, Florida, a small town in Citrus County, Florida, she was the daughter of Vasco Cleveland Langford and his wife, Anna Rear Newburn. The Langford family later moved to Lakeland, Florida, where Frances grew up. She graduated from Lakeland High School and studied music at Florida Southern College, also in Lakeland. Discovery and Radio Frances grew up in the Mulberry, Florida area, a tiny community near Lakeland. She attended Lakeland High School. Langford originally trained as an opera singer. While a young girl she required a tonsillectomy that changed her soprano range to a contralto. As a result, she was forced to change her vocal style to a more contemporary big band, popular music style. At age 17, she was singing for local dancers. Cigar manufacturer Eli Witt heard her sing at an American Legion party and hired her to sing on his local radio show. After a brief stint in the Broadway musical Here Goes the Bride in 1931, she moved to Hollywood appearing on the Lower La Parsons radio show Hollywood Hotel while starting a movie career. While singing for radio during the early 1930s, she was heard by Rudy Valee, who invited her to become a regular on his radio show. From 1935 until 1938 she was a regular performer on Dick Powell's radio show. From 1946 to 1951, she performed with Donna Meck as the insufferable wife, Blanche, on the Bickersons. Films with her film debut in Every Night at Eight the diminutive five-foot-one-inch star introduced what became her signature song, I'm in the Mood for Love. She then began appearing frequently in films such as Broadway Melody of 1936, Born to Dance and Yankee Doodle Dandy with James Canney, in which she performed the popular song Over There, and also popularized Dixie Jamboree, and radio stars on Parade. In The Western Deputy Marshal, she co-starred with her first husband, matinee idol John Hall. In several of these films, such as Broadway Melody, she appeared as herself, as she did in 1953 in the Glenn Miller story where she sang Chattanooga Choo Choo with the Moderaires and the movie orchestra. World War II. From 1941, Langford was a regular singer on Bob Hope's Pace show, when he held his first military entertainment program at March Field in Riverside, California in 1941. The show was so positive, he continued broadcasting from training bases around the country and asked Langford to join him. During World War II, she joined Hope, Jerry Colonna, guitarist Tony Romano, and other performers on USO tours through Europe, North Africa, and the South Pacific, entertaining thousands of GIs throughout the world. During a USO tour in the Pacific Theater she was invited to take a ride in a P-38 fighter plane. During the flight, a Japanese ship was spotted and the joyride was postponed until the pilot finished strafing the ship. In his memoir, Don't Shoot. It's Only Me. Bob Hope recalled how Francis Langford got the biggest laugh he had ever heard. At a USO show in the South Pacific, Langford stood up on a stage to sing before a huge crowd of GIs. When Langford sang the first line of her signature song, I'm in the mood for love, a soldier in the audience stood up and shouted, You've come to the right place, honey. Also, during the war, Langford wrote the weekly Purple Heart Diary column for Hearst newspapers, in which she described her visits to military hospitals to entertain wounded GIs. She used the weekly column as a means of allowing the recovering troops to voice their complaints, and to ask for public support for making sure that the wounded troops received all the supplies and comforts they needed. Her association with Hope continued into the 1980s. In 1989 she joined him for a USO tour to entertain troops in the Persian Gulf. Television She worked for several years in the late 1940s on The Spike Jones Show and starred in a short-lived Dumont variety show Star Time. As a guest on early television shows such as Perry Como and Jackie Gleason she was motivated to venture into television. She was the host of two self-titled variety television programs. She then teamed with Donna Meck for the ABC television program, The Francis Langford Donna Meck Show, a spin-off of their successful radio series The Bickersons in which the duo played a feuding married couple. 
Langford was also the host of the NBC musical variety program Francis Langford Presents, which lasted one season, as did a later program The Francis Langford Show. Another notable appearance was in the Honeymooners Lost episode Christmas Party, which first aired December 19, 1953. Marriages and Later Life Frances Langford married three times. Her first husband was actor John Hall. In 1948, they donated 20 acres of land near her estate in Jensen Beach, Florida, to the Martin County Board of County Commissioners, which named it Langford Hall Park. Located at 2369 Northeast Dixie Highway, just south of the Stewart Welcome Arch, it is known today simply as Langford Park and is one of the county's major parks. In 1946, Langford was honored by the hometown of her youth, Lakeland, Florida, for her work with the United Service Organizations and her music and acting career. The city of Lakeland dedicated the Lake Mirror Promenade as the Francis Langford Promenade. The promenade was originally built in 1928 and was designed by renowned landscape architect Charles W. Lavitt of New York. After leaving Hollywood life, she kept up her pastimes of boating and sport fishing. As a nightclub singer in 1955, she married outboard Marine Corporation President Ralph of Inrood. They lived on her estate in Jensen Beach and built a Polynesian-themed restaurant and marina on the Indian River they named the Francis Langford Outrigger Resort, where Langford frequently performed. Locals and celebrities flocked to the site. Of died in 1986. In 1994, she married Harold C. Stewart, who had served as Assistant Secretary for Civil Affairs of the United States Air Force under President Harry S. Truman. They spent the summers in Canada on Jordan Island and journeyed to the island from their home in Florida aboard their 110-foot yacht the Chanticleer, which was a popular tourist attraction when moored at the Outrigger Resort. Stewart survived Langford and died in 2007 at the age of 94. Langford was a supportive member of the Jensen Beach community and constantly donated money to the community. She was a great philanthropist and her generosity to the Florida Oceanographic Society located on Hutchinson Island, Stewart, Florida was well known. The site provides education and research of the ocean, reefs and environment in the Florida area. The visitor's center bears her name and also houses some of her artifacts. Her collection of mounted tuna, Marlin and other fish adorn the walls. Health problems plagued her in the last years of her life with periodic hospital stays. She died at her Jensen Beach home at age 92 from congestive heart failure. According to her wishes, she was cremated in the ashes strewn off the coast of Florida near her residence. In 2006, the Francis Langford Heart Center, made possible by a bequest from her estate, opened at Martin Memorial Hospital in Stewart. Florida. Hollywood Walk of Fame, Frances Langford enjoyed significant success in both the radio and movie genres, her greatest successes were in radio. She has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, at 1500 Vine Street, which acknowledges her contribution to motion pictures. Filmography, The Subway Symphony, Rambling Round Radio Row No. 5, Every Night at 8, Broadway Melody of 1936, Collegiate, Palm Springs, Sunkiss Stars at Palm Springs, Born to Dance, The Hit Parade, Hollywood Hotel, Dreaming Out Loud, Too Many Girls, Hit Parade of 1941, Swing It Soldier, All American Co ed, Picture People No. 4, Stars Day Off, Mississippi Gambler, Picture People No. 10, Hollywood at Home, Yankee Doodle Dandy, Hedda Hopper's Hollywood No. 4, Combat America, Follow the Band, Cowboy in Manhattan, this is the Army, Never a Dull Moment, Career Girl, Memo for Joe. Dixie Jamboree, Girl Rush, Radio Stars on Parade, People Are Funny, Screen Snapshots, Hollywood Victory Show, The Bamboo Blonde, Beat the Band, Melody Time, Deputy Marshall, Purple Harp Diary, The Glenn Miller Story, Fun at St. Fanny's. DVD Release, Francis Langford is featured on the DVD Entertaining the Troops with Bob Hope. References External links Francis Langford at the Internet Movie Database, Francis Langford at Find a Grave, Francis Langford Profile, Internet Archive, Maxwell House Coffee Time, Francis Langford, 
over there with James Canney as George M. Cohen and Francis Langford as Nora Bays on YouTube, Zoot Radio, free old-time radio show downloads of the Francis Langford radio program.